The Nigerian government has announced that it will start licensing social media platforms that operate in Nigeria. It was learned that the federal government has already directed the National Broadcasting Commission to immediately commence the process of licensing all social media operations in Nigeria. In a statement sent to various media houses on Friday evening, the country's Minister for Information, al Lai Mohammed, disclosed that the move was necessary. After social media giant Twitter deleted a tweet from President Muhammad Buhari's handle. The president had made a subtle threat of genocidal violence against the Igbo people over recent spates of insecurity in the region. Twitter deleted the tweet and also deleted a video of the president making those comments from his handle stating that the message violated its terms and conditions. al Lai Mohammed swiftly responded to the development accusing Twitter of double standards. The federal government has suspended indefinitely the operations of the microblogging and other social network networking service, Twitter in Nigeria. The minister has directed the National Broadcasting Commission, NPC, to immediately commence the process of licensing all OTT and social media operations in Nigeria, the statement reads. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Nigerian government suspending Twitter in Nigeria is not just um, an issue of uh, going against the freedom of expression of Nigerians, but as well tells you that they did not initially give up on the regulation of social media that this administration had actually initially planned to, to carry out. Now they are planning to license social media platforms. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. There has always been an agenda to shut up people and that is what this government is bent on. The only way they can be stopped is if the Nigerian youths decide to protest to raise their voices against this the same way they did against the social media bill that was um, initiated in the House of uh, Assembly of the, at the Senate at the National Assembly and people a lot of people must come out to speak people must not keep quiet because now, the federal government did not consider the economic uh, implications to the Nigeria and to Nigerians, despite the fact that the country is in tatters. No jobs, unemployment is on the high, you know, the economy is in tatters. And yet, instead of encouraging businesses, they are actually making it difficult for investors to come into the country by suspending Twitter and uh, you know carrying out harsh decisions, taking harsh decisions that would affect the nation. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. With the way things are going actually, and if care is not taken, it would be a very, very um, difficult one for the country and for the Nigerian youth in the sense that investments or investors would actually quit Nigeria. What happens to all those who, you know, make a living via Twitter? What happens to all those who use Twitter as a means to reach out to their customers, fans and all what have you? 
it is just sad and unfortunate that this set of people we have as leaders do not think or do not wholly you know consider the consequences of their actions before actually taking them that is just the implication nobody is saying that social media should not be uh, regulated if probably it is the best solution to addressing some of this challenge every every um every issue everything has an advantage or whatever has an advantage as well has a, has disadvantages but in a situation whereby the advantages outweighs the disadvantages then what are we saying you allow such thing or business as it were to thrive it remains to be seen though don't forget that facebook has as well deleted president Mahmoud buhari's message on its own platform as well so will the Nigerian government also suspend Facebook from Nigeria? That is the question we should ask. Will they also suspend Facebook from Nigeria? And little wonder, when Twitter cited its headquarters in Ghana, a lot of people were outraged that Nigeria was supposed to be the recipient of that particular um, headquarters of Twitter. But this is just a very few months interval look at what the nigerian government has done so imagine if twitter had its headquarters in nigeria its african headquarters in nigeria there are possibilities that it probably would have been burnt down by hoodlums who probably might have been sponsored by some of these politicians so you can see how this government is treating businesses and uh, driving away investors from the country instead of wooing investors into the country, giving them enabling environment to thrive, to create jobs for people and also help you know the economy. This is a very, very sad situation if you'd ask me. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but we do not in any way seem to be ready for the growth, the development that we actually need in this country. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? It's time to be corrected if I'm wrong in any way, but I'd like to know what your thoughts are. I'd like you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And they want to share this new story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.